cabbage, May. Thanks for the screen. Really? Oh, sticky fuck up. that sticky shit, man. What the fuck is that? Finally, what advice would you give to anyone that's going to start their own fitness journey and or maybe they've already started, they need need a bit of guidance. So it's someone that's just sort of like, yeah. just started, they've just started going to the gym, they've just started lifting weights. What what would you say to them now with all the knowledge that you have of the years, over the years, should um, I say? All right, so I'd say a few things. Number one, it would be going back to what I said about trying to approach information on actual methods from an objective standpoint. Like critical thinking is the number one skill for making progress. And critical thinking is a skill that has to be practiced because you have to resist the temptation to take things at face value, resist the temptation to believe people just because of who they are, and I have to really look at the information for the information's sake without any bias on it. That would be number one, really, because that's going to lead you to, you know, utilizing the, the most effective methods, which are going to obviously get you to where you want to get faster and therefore require less patience. And patience is something that everyone it finds it difficult right because yeah. we all want we all want it now you know and that's what the whole our whole culture caters to every, everything right now um so number two would be don't expect everything right now and just you know um try and take pleasure in in small kind of victories and small markers of progress um yeah number three would be keep your head on man. just yeah. don't don't you so many people just it's a psychological thing their head will fall off like one bad like scale reading or they'll feel like weak one workout or something and then it's just like the head is fully swiveled and yeah now i'm going to change what i'm doing and stuff like that you know gonna instantly just, make it yeah yeah just, overnight just do the basics and just chill out on like chill out you know what i mean every every bit of you know you will make better progress with a kind of chilled mindset you know if you're in that rushed <coughs> hurried i need it now you know, I need to hit PRs every week, I need to lose weight, I need to build muscle, I need to do this. That's just not conducive to progress. I suppose it's, it's not everything, man. It's not realistic either, is it? No, yeah. You've got to be, like, patient whilst working hard, and obviously it'll all come together yeah. as such. But, no. Thank you for joining yeah. us, Joe. I mean, Thanks, it's been I've, a I've really enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been really good. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that, being on. <laughs> Super zoomed in, mate. Yo, peeps, what's happening? It is the day that I am supposed to leave for Thailand. I was going to show you myself like packing and like do a little fucking Thailand wardrobe thing and all that kind of shit. And then I didn't because it's been pretty hectic because it's just been hassle trying to sort out flights and shit all day. Because look, the snowman, not the snowman. The snow, comma, man. <laughs> uh, I think what's going to happen is my flight is delayed. Rob's had flight after flight after flight cancelled and he's now got one that's looking sketchy. Mine is delayed, so it looks like I'm going to miss my connecting flight in Dubai. I'm going to have to chill in that airport for like six or seven hours. Fuck knows, I don't know. But I'm taking the camera, so I'll update you on my journey along the way. Alright, so, updates. We're in Dubai, so we missed the flight connection so Emirates are putting us up in this room for one night I say it was me and Rob were in separate rooms he also missed his connection which was the same connection even though we had different starting points anyway check out cultural day I'm gonna use a power zoom on this shit power zoom for those moves mate 
local tech heads. Loves it. So the plan is splashing water on my face. I've actually got no clothes to change into, so I'm walking around Dubai in joggers. Just going there, just explore a bit, see one of my mates. I've got a friend here, so we're gonna meet up. Check the scene out, man. Get some nice food and stuff. Take you with us. We made it to Thailand, <laughs> so we're doing what we do. When in Rome, we're gonna finish off the day. Nice little massage, and start fresh tomorrow. Yes. Sir. Jordan, Lenny is my hero. 